Hey, this is Mass X with a first look at the Eminence in Shadow Master of Garden. It dropped a little less than 24 hours ago. Wanted to get some gameplay in and get a good feel for it before I did a video. And if you are interested in this or you enjoy the anime, this probably is a game for you. It starts off the game about right around the second episode of the anime and really just follows the storyline perfectly. Really good stuff. So if you're interested in the game, let's talk about first setting up your account, okay? They have one of the easiest um, re-rolls to be able to do. And basically all you're gonna do is log in, don't link anything, and you're gonna go through the tutorial, okay? And when you finish through the tutorial, you're gonna have one free summons, a 10 summons, okay? You're gonna do that first. If you get at least one SS, then you're gonna to wanna to go to your inbox, and then for the pre-registration rewards, you should have 4,000 gems, the currency they use in the game, and then do another roll. If you get either two SS in your first free roll or one in each of your two rolls, the key is to come out of it with a minimum of two SS. I did it about 15 times, never was able to get more than two, but I'm sure it's doable if you've got the patience. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So if you have to reroll, you go back to the title screen, okay? And then you're just gonna go up to that menu in the upper left hand corner. And as you saw in the background, you can set to delete your account. And once you delete your account, you're able to go ahead and start a new game. The best part is you don't have to go through the tutorial again. It gives you the option to skip it. So you skip it and then you come to the screen that you see now. And then you're just gonna go back through. You're gonna have your free rolls and then you're gonna go ahead and go back to your inbox. And you can do that as many times as you need to. It's really simple, straightforward. I mean, you gotta love that when you have easy re-rolls and not when it takes 20 to 30 minutes every time. Once you do that initial um, go through the tutorial, you are absolutely set to just go into rotation and it only takes a few minutes each time. And boom, 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 you're done. You have a really interesting too, uh, summoning system where the characters battle, so you'll see two characters and you only get one of the two characters that you see. As you see as this comes up, like Beta, you know, Gamma, Sid, you can see you don't get both of those characters, you get one of the two. And when you get the SS, they actually do battle on the screen. So you'll see two SS characters. Um, it's, it's, it's good and bad because it's almost heartbreaking. And here's a perfect example of when I decided to do a reroll, did not get any SS. So what do you do? You close it all out. And you're gonna go back to that title menu. As you can see, return to the title screen, and boom, there you are. Go back to that menu. You're gonna hit okay, delete your account, done start over again it is that simple gotta say you gotta love it and if you're a fan of the anime and you're looking for a particular character or two that you want this is just a great way to get a good start when you begin this game so kudos to them for setting up an easy reroll system with your accounts so once you get done with that and you get your 2SS then you can start doing the playthrough. Now, one of the things though, before we go to gameplay, is if you happen to pull SS rows, you're gonna wanna reroll, unless of course you happen to get three SS. SS row, rows is free to get in the game, okay? And I've already gotten her, this is the second part of the missions that you get more stuff to go with rows. But the point is, Rose is the one SS you don't want. So keep that in mind when you're doing your re-rolls. So when you come into the game, you get a screen, you can pick who you get to see on the screen. Boom, boom, boom. 
And let's go ahead and take a look at the characters right now. Like I said, I've been playing for quite a bit, so I've got quite a few up. And there's some doozies in this game. Um, I hate to do tier lists and who's better or not. Especially in something that's anime based, I kind of say go with the characters you want to get. I really wanted um, the SS Sid, so I was happy. That's when I stopped doing my re rolling because I really wanted that one. Um, but yeah, one of the things you're going to find in this game early on is you're going to need a tank, okay? So keep that in mind when you're setting up your teams. This game is really based around color based teams. Um, you have yellow and blue. Um, early on, you don't have to worry about that, but that's something you're going to be striving for. And out of the gate, it looks like yellow is really probably the best all-around team uh, with their units. But again, that's that's more as you play through the game. Early on, just make sure you get yourself two SSs, not a rose, and then so you know you're going to have three SS characters fairly quickly and that's what happened with me. Now the gameplay is pretty straightforward. There is an auto function but you still have to do certain things and everything is not autoed for you. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the gameplay here and I'm going to slow it down too so it's easier. And as you can see it will tell you what minimum power you need. There are equips in this game. Nothing crazy or special. If you get duplicates of the characters, they turn into gems that you can use to level up your character, and we'll go into that a little deeper. But again, with the first review video, just kind of wanted to show everything to you guys. But I'm actually really enjoying this game. Now, again, I'm just going to put it out there. I am familiar with the anime. I watch it. I think it's on, what is it? It's not Crunchyroll in America. It's high something a service that I hadn't used much before but I picked it up because I did want to watch this one and one other one that they happen to have um, but again if you're not a fan of anime you should be watching it it's actually really good but so let's get to some gameplay here but you can see your minimum power 3300 so you know what you gotta look at when you're setting up your team I already have a team set up as you can see they're clocking in at over 4,000 at this point so I'm probably pretty comfortable so let's go ahead and just start a battle so you can see the actual gameplay in action and as you can see it's got some nice cutscenes nice graphics the mode um, itself is pretty fluid again it's not the cream of the crop for the way games look but it definitely has nice action you can pull back the camera if you like a different angle as you can see I prefer a little bit closer so I'll go back in on that and right now it's just set on auto so they're doing the initial attacking what's gonna happen is you're building up your combo and I'll go ahead and show that and you can combo Think, well, at least at this point, I've only been able to combo up to three characters. I don't know if that will expand later on as I get farther into the game. And then you got your specials that you can see the bars at the bottom that are slowly filling up. And on wave three, at least, we should be able to see the combo happen. So I got really slow right now. This is not normally how it looks. I just wanted you guys to be able to see the graphics, see the movements of the characters, and I'll show you. So you hit your combo. And strike combo then you pick raise combo damage reduce damage coming and then raise combo damage and marrying on the characters you play different combinations of the combo work better or what you need especially if you need to defend yourself or something else like that and hopefully we'll get some specials here so you guys can see how they look with the characters I'm gonna go ahead and put it at normal speed so you can see there we go now this is a, a, a defensive one, so it, it raises the defense for everybody. I love that one. I was pretty surprised they actually did that with the blood. I thought that was cool. I like to see that they uh, keep uh, that feel and not try to dumb it down for a game. And then see, there we go. You do your specials. So again, you can be as interactive as you want in this game. You, 
You can either do all the fighting yourself, you can go partial auto, and just go from there. Now I can tell you there are parts that get difficult, especially the, the boss battles, and I can say that I, I was not comfortable leaving it on auto on some of those battles. So as you can see, the gameplay is pretty fluid. Looks nice, got pretty good graphics. I uh, was pretty impressed actually. I wasn't sure what to expect because I'm not a huge fan of Crunchyroll games. So again, I know they're not the developers, but the games they usually bring in, you know, you gotta, you gotta step back and see how they're gonna be um, handled. So that's gonna be the key with this game. How is this game gonna be handled? But from all indications, they're going to continue to follow the anime and you're going to see stuff that coincides with those anime episodes. So if that's true, then, and they're going to really have um, a solid development team keep pushing stuff out, this game does have a lot of promise. Now there's other aspects of the game too. There's the story mode area, let me show you that really quickly. There's main stories, Seven Shadows Chronicles, character stories, event stories. As you can see, I'm not sure if there's an event. No, there is not an event yet. My guess is we will be getting one soon. And you've got your character stories that you can go through. And then of course, the main stories and the Seven Shadow Chronicles. There's also an actual arena battle mode, PVP. Now it's fully auto, just so you're aware. And as you can see, I'm, well, no, I guess I'm not overclassed here. Let's go ahead and do one so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is fully auto though, just to be straight with everybody. So there's not much you can do here except for just go in and fight another team. And I can tell you now, there are definitely characters that are better in PvE than they are in PvP. And you know, there's quite a few tier lists out in Japan already, um, if you want to see those. But again, for me, I just want to get a feel for the game, see if I enjoy it, see if I'm going to stick with it. Then we'll get a little bit more serious about my setups and what characters I really want to strive for after the fact. And you can see it does all the combos for you and everything. So, there's not much to do here except for watch. But hey, at least it's a PvP mode. I'll be curious to see how the price structure is as you go up the ladder. But if you're playing this game, you're probably not playing it for the PvP, you're probably playing it for the story mode because you want to enjoy the aspects of the manga or anime, whatever you watch or read or both, to, to enjoy that part. Because I can tell you the animated cutscenes and what they put in here look really good. They're very detailed. The voices are solid. Um, I, I can't say enough about that. So if this is a license that you're interested in, then I think there, it's a no-brainer to give it a try. If it's not a license you're interested in, but you're an anime fan, you might really enjoy this because it has, like you can see, um, your quests, your stories, you got guilds, you. It, 20 person guilds so I have to imagine we might have some sort of guild wars come in at some point who knows um, the summoning system is kind of fun to say the least and then you got some, some kind of interesting interactivity um, where you build up the bonds with your characters uh, as you can see marrying on the character you have it will go through different discussions and that's how you build up bond levels kind of go through this, kind of walks you through it. There's not usually a lot of different answers at hand. Um, but again, you know, silly fun, quick. Not something that I strive for, but I know some people enjoy this stuff. But with that, that is our first look at Eminence in Shadow. I think it's a solid undertaking so far and an interesting game and I'm going to continue to play it and if I do stay on with it I will get back with you guys with some more information especially if they add an event as well as characters that clearly seem to be 
uh, better than others to use. But again, gotta say, it's a keeper right now for me. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Take care.